I'm just finishing up packing here at the Costa Hostel. We stayed here for three nights, but it's now time for us to head on to Chengdu. It's like maybe almost six in the morning, and uh, we're gonna try to get to uh, the beach pretty early and try to learn how to surf. Well, I'm gonna try to learn how to surf. These guys are gonna kill it. <laughs> so. Right out and bushy tailed. Guys, we're out here in Chengdu at the Clandestino Hostel. They said their check-in time's like 7.30 a.m., but we got here at like uh, 6.45, 7 ish but Oh my goodness, I had no idea how beautiful this place would be. Uh, we did not know what to expect coming here. Like, it's kind of out in, out in the middle of nowhere. There's a lot of like farmland surrounding the area and a lot of just beautiful rice paddies, but like I highly recommend coming here like early in the morning, catching the sunrise from here. It's so beautiful coming up over the fields. And they have the cutest little puppies here. I'm sure you guys saw in that little B-roll section. Top top. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, stop. Yeah, probably top top. I'm new. Good. And you? How many boards? We'll do three boards. Three boards. Okay. And then, I mean, do you just want to go? How much? How much is it to rent one? Fifty. Two hours a month. Fifteen rupiah. Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand rupiah for yes. two hours a month. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Out here at the Old Man Beach in Chengdu, these guys have both surfed before. I have never surfed, so how exciting to, to try to figure this out. Hopefully we'll have some fun. We'll be out here for at least two hours, and my goal today is to try to stand up. up like two and a half times so <laughs> but the later into the day the waves started kind of getting a little bit more consistent and a little bit harder to catch but uh you know it was a good time and a good learning experience for me and now we're just kind of out here hanging out on the beach uh, i got some shade it's pretty hot out right now uh, my face obviously is a little bit more a little bit more colorful than usual but it's been a good time and and uh, jason's getting some sick drone shots right now <laughs> Sava right now, this place is like the poolside cafe. Uh, it's really cool, they have this pool here as well as it's kind of attached to like this hotel or hostel type place to stay. They have yoga classes and like a really pretty like garden, seating area is all really pretty and everything here is locally sourced. Mostly vegetarian and they do have vegan options for pretty much everything and a lot of stuff that they do here is house made. So like if you want coffee with like cashew milk instead, that cashew milk is made in the house. And instead of using like wheat, because the wheat is not sourced in Indonesia, they actually use a uh, cassava flour to make their food. So pretty impressive here that they're trying to do so much for their um, for their country. Mm -hmm. 